I really hope that this energy transfers through this camera. I had a meeting that I missed again because of the time. So freaking frustrating, man. A lot of these people out in this world nowadays, fools go, they're not even authentic. All Dreams can be a 26 million ARR company. And that's not even a big company when I say this. What up, what up, what up, what up? It's Monday, baby. It is Monday, July 29th, 2024. It is around 7.11 a.m. And I'm pumped up. I'm pumped up for a new week. Um, man, just ready to get at it. I'm re just ready to get at it. I'm just ready to get at it. Honestly, you know. Um, yo, as far as the hero story framework, we on part three. Yo, part three. Whew. Man, part three, we, where it's, yo, it's, it's deep. It's deep, part one, origin, part two, journey of findings. You know what I'm saying? Like those was good. For well, part three, you got to dig deep. You got to dig deep. You feel what I'm saying? Like, bruh, bruh, whoever watching, man, listen, I wish you much success. I wish you much blessings. I wish you this same energy like i really do i wish you the same enthusiasm for whatever you do in your life and whatever you're doing in your life right now like i really hope that this energy transfers through this camera because the energy of purpose, the energy of what you what you know that you're supposed to be doing in this life when this life is so, so confusing for the most part. So, so confusing, man. We have so many confusing points in our lives. Daily, we have confusion. But the knowing of purpose, the knowing, the waking up every single morning, like, yo, this is what I'm doing and I love it. I wish that for you. So Monday, let's get at it, man. Let's get at it. Let's go, for real. Played a little bit of basketball last night. Um, man, I shot terrible. <laughs> But uh, don't matter. Just getting back into actually actual combat, you know. Uh, went out to dinner with L. Me and LJ went out, ate, chopped it up. That was cool. So, man, let's start this week off, man. Let's start this week off. Let's go, man. It's a big week. It's a big week, man. It's a big week. That's all I got to say, man. Bro, this is our third third week of dailies here. And I think I did at least a week. This might be, I don't know, man. Sometimes, you know what? I don't even like to count shit. I don't like, I, I don't want to count analytic, analytics. I just want to do the thing. Just continue to do the thing, you feel me? Like, next thing you know, you wake up, you like, oh, man, I didn't put in this much work. So, man, I'm just continuing to do the thing, bro. Like, real talk. Hey, 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 run for your life. At the court yesterday, right? At the basketball court here in Cartagena, yo, you know what's so crazy? Is that it was like, five or six other brothers at the court. Like, 
American brothers. Like, I'm talking about dudes that been here. One dude was here for like three years. You got LJ, you had a lawyer and his family, him and his, he had him, his son, and his wife. Uh, another dude, he said he was here for a year and a half. Another dude was here for like over a year. Then you had me, we had, man, like, bruh. Man, it's recognizable that this ain't no this 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 something that that people other other brothers is seeing too. That man, it's a more quality of life, and it was cool, cool dudes, man. You know, cool dudes that you you know can vibe with or whatever. The one dude got a family, you know, like man, come on, man. That made yo know, that 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 was insightful to me. That was insightful. Actually, the one guy. Got two sons. If anybody knows about me, that's what I want. In the next, like, like now, like now, like I want two sons, two sons, and I'm and I'm set. Two sons, my company, my my my, my other three daughters, I'm set, right? Um, yeah, man, guy, you've know, been here for three years. Got two sons, man. It was good to meet the brother, man. So, man. Man, that yo, that 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 filled me with happiness. I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, just good vibes, just good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Good vibes, man. We try to build a little community out here in Cartagena. I told you, and also like I'm with y'all. Like my goal is to build that, to build a startup community out here too, eventually. You know, so yeah. going on guys so I'm just getting back to the office just went and grabbed um, my, my fruit drink it is uh, 1142 uh, I'm going to film this I had a meeting that I missed again because of the time so freaking frustrating man So yeah, I had to have my my meeting today, and freaking miss it again because the time is different. So I'm a little bit annoyed about that. I'm actually really annoyed about that, honestly. Conceptually, the SOM is exactly what you're going to obtain. Right. I'd argue if there's 35 million in the United States, I'd argue you're only going to get a small fraction of those. And so let's make it up 1%. 350,000. 350,000. I'm 75 bucks. That's $26 million. That's an annual reoccurring revenue of 26 million two hundred fifty thousand dollars so my point is all, all many startups think oh my gosh everybody's gonna love my thing well they may they may not so we always say give me a fraction of this okay ten percent of that is 2.6 million dollar business right so as you know or may have been told launches looking 
ideally to invest in companies that are going to be seven to ten million in the next three to five years. So right. here, you, you're actually you did. Yeah, so I would suggest that you, you based on your research, who you talk to, and like, let's say you talk to 100 people. There's a, couple, there's a whole bunch of ways to get after this, right? Let's say you spoke to 100 people, and when you spoke to 100 people, 5% um, of them said I'd buy it. Oh, okay, so 5%. So now you're like, I'm going to say 5% of $35 million. That's one way to do it. You could okay. say, well, 5% sounds really aggressive. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to do a subset of that subset and make it one or 2%, which is not uncommon. We, mm -hmm. we see like a half a percent to 2% of the, of the SAM, the 35 million. That's pretty common. Right? And it's also a sanity check for investors. Uh, you're like, you know, maybe people will like this. Maybe they won't. I think of... Um, how many people really care enough to need that community? And I'm, I'm thinking it's a very small subset of the, of the big picture of so many athletes. Right? Mm -hmm. and, um, mind you, you're using the word amateur now. Before you were using the word... Um, I some young. young athlete. Okay, yeah, so let's do Big difference, uh, a difference, which is it? Got to make that consistent. So if you're doing amateur athletes, now if amateur implies somebody that has a propensity or has the desire to um, uh, to go pro, then now you got some. My, now you may have a community like, no, that's my pe that's my people that I'm looking for. Is that what you mean? Yeah, my I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. That's 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 what I mean. The amateur athlete, so that even the young athlete is not what I was like really talking about. I'm really talking about anyone that's not professional amateur athletes. Okay. But I'm, I was a high end amateur athlete, not trying to get paid. Although there was no money in it. I played ultimate Frisbee for 25 years. I had my own team. We were asked to go to world cup in Japan and Australia. Serious stuff. If you ever watch it, it's pretty, I think it's pretty entertaining. But it's a non-paying sport. There actually, we do. We had a professional team in Rochester uh, for a while. But I played because I like to play. So, am I an amateur athlete in your category? Yeah, absolutely. Re reason being is you said you went to Japan, and man, what a, what about building a community around what you were, you know, what you were doing? Hey, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. That's a really good point, actually. Because there's so many people that be like, "Wow, it'd be nice to connect," and it's a, it's an, it's an international sport. Yeah, you said you, you said it was pretty cool. So yeah, that's something that could be introduced to a, a larger audience and build a community. Okay, so now you have the amateur athlete market, and some of those then in the amateur athlete market are interested in incre improving, increasing their community, and some of them need money funding. So it's a percentage of that. So sure. if you, um, I'm just trying to model this. For you, but if you said, "Oh, that's not right," I'm just doing the math. One percent, one percent of thirty-five million is three hundred fifty thousand. Three hundred fifty thousand. And if they all bought, and that's just that's, that would be just the United States too. So, that's the United States. If they all bet, that's a twenty-six million dollar business. Right. Is it seventy-five dollars a year? Seventy-five dollars a year. Okay, so there and, you go. Annual recurring. So yes, there's your ARR. ARR. Right. Great. So that's awesome. So what I would say is, I would rethink. You know, what is the right number? Right. And again, you have to convince investors. You don't have to convince me. I'm just. I'm a. I'm a sanity check. I'm a. There's a sense of reasonableness. I'm an investor. Even one percent sounds aggressive. And by the way, if that's a twenty-six million dollar business, I'm like, I don't know about this. If you got ten percent of that, it's only a two point six million dollar business. Like, so somewhere it could be a half a percent. A half a percent is a thirteen million dollar business a year. So that's pretty. That's pretty amazing, right? Yo. So actually, I did have that meeting. <laughs> so 
um, and it went well. Man, I'm learning so, so much. I'm learning so much. Like, I just, I feel like, I feel like, um, I don't feel like a baby in the startup game, but I, I, I feel like I have so much growth that I can, you know, that, that I can gain, but I'm learning so much. And man, I like that, it's exciting. Beautiful day out here, man. Look at the blue skies. Look at the water. Man, it's hot. Woo! Man, if you're first time on this channel, man, give me a like and subscribe, comment, something. We uh, we documenting a, a, a great journey. And um, man, I would love for you to be a part of this journey. Going along on this journey with me. If you don't know me, my name is Hassan. And uh, I'm an entrepreneur currently in Cartagena, Colombia, building my startup company, All Dreams. And um, man, so today, in the office, I had my meeting with my entrepreneur in residence. And if you watched the video before this, we was talking about Tam Sam Sam, which is something that businesses use in order to figure out um, what market they can basically dominate by the time you get to the end of it. It's three parts of it. So like the first part is your the, the the biggest market size that you get you know that that that's in your market then the realistic market size and then the market that you can realistically dominate and um man when we broke it down bro even on a small scale on a small scale all dreams can be a $26 million ARR company. And that's on a small scale. That's only in America. That is not worldwide. All Dreams can be a $26 million ARR company. And that's not even a big company when I say this. Seriously. This company will change a lot of people it's going to change a lot of people's lives and um so that's one of the things that me and my entrepreneur residence broke down today as you've seen but um shit if that ain't exciting i don't know what it is now when i was playing basketball at bethune cook man I remember this distinct phrase that my, my head coach used to say. And he used to say, when you go outside to play and you score, that's fool's goal. It's a, it's a very profound statement, you know, because it's a lot of people that's that's telling you things and it's fool's goal. You know, it's almost like a broken clock is right two times a day, even a garbage can gets a steak. It's things like that because anybody can get lucky one time, you know? And you had to think about those things, right? When you're following somebody who has done it over and over again, and I'm not saying, yo, you should follow me, right? I'm not saying none of that. I'm just saying, like, 
a lot of this shit out here is fool's gold. Like, it's really fool's gold. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, a lot of it is just fool's gold. So, you need to be careful. You feel what I'm saying? Um, when you talk about fool's gold, <laughs> when you talk about fool's gold, it's really real. I be looking at it because, say you play, say say you playing basketball or whatever, right? And somebody hits some lucky shot. I'm talking about a fadeaway shot. Dude hit a, hit a fadeaway shot on me yesterday. And I'm looking, I'm like, yo, that's fool's gold because, man, you ain't work on that shot. You feel me? And that's really what fool's gold basically breaks down to. It's like, yo, if you ain't do something consistently over and over and over and over again, and then you just luck up, you know what I'm saying? Like you get a cosign, your YouTube channel blow up. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody like, you get a viral video, your channel blow up or your Instagram blow up, your TikTok blow up. That shit is fool's gold. You understand what I'm saying? Like the only way to really cement yourself is to do it over and over again. And that consistency, you know exactly where it come from because you didn't did it over and over again. You didn't put the work in. It's just like a jump shot. You feel what I'm saying? Like you didn't shot the shot a thousand and thousands and thousands of times. It ain't fool's gold when it go in because you didn't did it over and over again. A lot of people, they look up, they, they want fool's gold. Like that shit like shiny covered up, but it's fool's gold. A lot of these people out in this world nowadays, it's fool's gold, they're not even authentic. You understand what I'm saying? So, bro, please don't be fool's gold. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Just put the work in and just do, just be consistent over and over. Like every single day, just show up. You understand what I'm saying? Like in whatever you're doing. Uh, because it's just so much fool's gold out here. Everywhere. <laughs> when I'll be looking at, I'll be looking at the internet, I'll be like, yo, <laughs> that shit fool's gold. Like. You can look up, you know what I'm saying? You got one good year, two good years. Life is a consistency game, I'm trying to tell you. Because you ain't gonna be up 100,000%. You ain't gonna be down 1,000%. Like, <laughs> that's why you just gotta be consistent. You just gotta continue working, continue taking steps along, you know what I mean? Just, just working it, man, just step by step. Just keep going, you know. Yeah, a lot of y'all do is fools gold, man. <laughs> Real talk. A lot of fools gold out here, man. Don't get tricked by that fools gold, man. Only buy the real thing. <laughs> buy your authenticity, man. Real talk. If you're gonna buy something, you might as well buy the real thing. Like, yo, even if you got to save up, man, they used to have a thing back in the day, it was called layaway. You feel what I'm saying? They ain't got no layaway no more. You better come with the cash. Cash up front now, but they used to have layaway where you will go in to the store, put some money down, and then just pay on it. When you come back, you know what I'm saying? Pay on it, pay on it. I think, man, you had, man, I don't know, layaway lasts last a long time. I know, shit, sometimes, man, people had layaway and shit for like a year, something like that. Like people had their stuff in layaway. But then you go, pay on it little by little, every month, something like that. Then you go pick up your stuff. Listen, you better off, you better off doing layaway than buying fool's gold. You feel what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, like real. You're better off doing layaway, paying little by little to get the real thing, rather than fool's gold. That's all I got to say for the day. I see you guys tomorrow. I'm out. Right now it's like 324. My day is over. And mañana. <laughs>